the degree of domestic constraints in each of the territories of uh, the stakeholders involved is inversely correlated to their appetite for risk. So for instance, Iran, the regime is facing uh, economic discontent, uh, societal uh, unrest, uh, and therefore does not want to take major risks uh, in its uh, regional foreign policy. I think you can overstate what's happening diplomatically between Iran and these Arab states. My own view is that the Arab states view the, this normalization process as a mechanism to put a ceiling on conflict but not as a solution by any means to their problems with Iran, which um, have existed for a very long time. But at the same time, you see um, efforts to also deter Iran. They understand that Iran in the long run is a problem, uh, but they're finding ways to deal with it. Military action without a diplomatic way forward, be it uh, in the current Gaza situation, or be it more generally with Iran, uh, is not gonna get you very far. But what we're aiming to do is to aim for a viable, get a path that's concrete, uh, no more talk about uh, political horizons, which is too amorphous, but rather set a timetable, set a pathway, uh, put milestones on it, and begin moving towards two states. Yes, people are voting, but it's not enough, and it's because there's a problem with the system here. And this seems to be an issue across the board with those that are not supporting of um, this hardline dominated um, three branches of government, they're speaking out against this. And they're also saying that, you know, if we continue this trend, we're going to lose the people more so than we already have. Nominally speaking out on behalf of the Iranian people, um, naming and shaming through sanctions authorities, um, including, as we heard today, you know, through the, supporting the UN fact-finding mission. And I think one place to start is not to think of it in terms of the binaries of is it a more forceful approach, is it a more conciliatory approach, is it engagement in whatever mode that means versus pressure in whatever mode that means. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. We have to look at the wheel we have and figure out from a starting point what's worked and what hasn't worked.